Did you know that diabetes can affect children as well? The good news is it can be treated and prevented. Hi, I'm Dr. Aishwarya Krishnamurti. I'm a consultant endocrinologist at Max Hospital Vaishali. So what is diabetes? Now, diabetes is a disease where there's very high blood glucose levels or blood sugar levels in your body. So why does it happen? So all the food that you eat gets digested and finally results in glucose in the body. Now this glucose is carried by the blood to all your cells and it enters into the cells where it acts as a fuel. Now insulin is an important hormone that's produced by the pancreas. Now that helps the glucose to enter into the cell. Now when you have type 2 diabetes, one of two problems can happen. Either your body does not produce enough insulin or the, it produces enough insulin but the insulin does not work properly in your body or you have insulin resistance. Right? So this helps us to divide diabetes into two types. Right? So type 1 diabetes where the body does not produce insulin and type 2 diabetes where the body produces insulin but it is unable to use the insulin in an efficient manner. Now why does that happen? When you have, a phys you have physical inactivity or you have an unhealthy uh, eating habits or you have obesity, now these are reasons why your insulin does not work as well as it should in the body. So most commonly adults have type 2 diabetes and type 1 diabetes is most commonly diagnosed in children. But both diabetes can happen in both age groups. Let's talk about diabetes in children now. Now, children can develop both type 1 as well as type 2 diabetes. Now, type 1 diabetes used to be more common in children as compared to adults, while type 2 diabetes used to be more common in adults as compared to children. Of late, post-COVID pandemic, there has been a staggering or an alarming increase in the occurrence of type 2 diabetes in children. Now, there are several reasons for this. One of the most important risk factors for developing type 2 diabetes in children is the increase in the prevalence of obesity in children. Now, there are several reasons why obesity has been increasing in children, starting from poor lifestyle, life habits. Uh, children are unable to go out to play because of several reasons, because of COVID-related uh, restrictions, as well as uh, school timings, pressures related to examinations. So these are several reasons why children are unable to have adequate physical activity. Similarly, the children's food, food habits have been not as good as they should be. There is an increase in the prevalence of consumption of junk food by children, eating uh, fast foods, uh, processed foods. So these again contribute to the increase in the obesity in children. Uh, in children, again, puberty or the occurrence of the pubertal changes is another risk factor why they can develop type 2 diabetes. And another important risk factor is when you have a genetic risk for diabetes. Like if you have a parent or a grandparent or a sibling who has type 2 diabetes, you're at a higher risk for developing diabetes. Or if your mother had had diabetes when she was carrying you, even then you have a higher risk for developing type 2 diabetes as a child. Now, why is type 2 diabetes in children more important or extremely important for us to know about? It is extremely important because type 2 diabetes is not just a mini version of adult type 2 diabetes. It is a far more aggressive, a far more scary disease as compared to adult type 2 diabetes. It has certain uh, factors like there is a higher rate of treatment failure in uh, pediatric or childhood type 2 diabetes as compared to adult type 2 diabetes and at the same time the risk of complications that happen due to diabetes are much higher in children with type 2 diabetes as compared to adults. So this is why the entity of childhood type 2 diabetes is a far more important uh, entity that we all need to know about. So why do we need to know about uh, childhood type 2 diabetes? So firstly we need to know about this because many people are not aware that diabetes can actually happen in children. So yes, diabetes can happen in children and when it happens in children it's a far more severe disease, a more uh, difficult disease to treat as compared to when it happens in adults. And secondly because it can be prevented. Now if a child has a risk for developing type 2 diabetes either because the child is obese or there is a family history of diabetes, it can still be prevented by taking adequate measures. So it is very important to know about type 2 diabetes in children. So how do you prevent type 2 diabetes in children? 
the most important preventive measure for type 2 diabetes is to have a good lifestyle now that involves eating healthy and having a good physical activity every day now what do i mean by a good food habit there should be a healthy balance of all food items that you are taking avoid junk food have a good consumption of fruit every day ensure that the child is having adequate dairy or milk product milk consumption every day and when you're looking at physical activity the child needs to have a good 1 to 2 hours of physical activity every day now this might mean different things in different children some children may enjoy dancing some children may enjoy sports some may just like to go out and play in the neighborhood so whatever physical activity the child is interested in or likes you should allow them to do it for at least 1 to 2 hours every day now following these two will go a long way in preventing type 2 diabetes in young children even if they are at a high risk for developing diabetes so we discussed today about uh, diabetes in children we discussed about how it has been increasing in numbers since the covid pandemic and how diabetes in children is actually different from diabetes in adults uh, it is a far more severe disease it is a far more uh, difficult disease to treat However, we also learned that it can be treated, it can be prevented. So the preventive measures like for any diabetes is adopting a good healthy lifestyle which includes good food habits and good physical activity. So even though childhood diabetes is a far more difficult disease, far more di- serious disease, it can be prevented, it can be treated.